Welcome back guys, so today we're going to be seeing if the F-15C is able to be implemented into War Thunder without being too overpowered. Now the F-15C, surprisingly enough, does have armaments that are actually in-game. So stay tuned to see if this jet is actually balanced, and I'm also going to be predicting when this jet will actually come to War Thunder. Now I'll also be using the Averick mod, so this is the F-15C with Averick's mod and I'll be using some DCS footage so Averick's channel will be put up right here and you could go down in the description down below and go check out the mod for yourself because he's done an amazing job on it. Also comment down below what aircraft I should review next to be potentially added to War Thunder. So without further ado, let's get into this. Now the F-15C's stats are pretty good. It pulls 9 G's plus, it speeds about 1.2 at sea level, and at altitude it goes Mach 2. Has a very impressive climb rate of 67,000 feet a minute, and has a ceiling of 65,000 feet. Now the one feature I personally love about this aircraft is its thrust to weight, which is 1.07, which means this thing could rate fight extremely well, and it has decent maneuverability on its control surfaces. Another thing to note is that its radar is an AN APG-70, which has Pulse Doppler and TWS, which I will get into later. Now this carries the AIM-9Ps, the AIM-120s, and the AIM-7s, but Gaijin's probably not going to have the AIM-120s for a while. So we'll just stick with the AIM-7s. Luckily this does have the AIM-7Fs which are in game on the F4J. And it also has the AIM-9Ps which are also in game. But this also carries the AIM-9P5s which we will not be using because those are not in War Thunder. Now the F-15C versus the MiG-23 MLD is pretty unbalanced. The MLD is going to be fighting an uphill battle every single time. So we will not be using that. Instead we'll be using the MiG-29A because that's a little more balanced. And... Plus, it will probably be in the game when the F-15C is added. Also, the F-15C has a TWS mode, but it only works with the AIM-120s. And if you don't know what TWS is, it basically means that you'll be able to track multiple targets and launch multiple missiles at the same time. But since we're not using the AIM-120s because those are a little overpowered, we will not be touching this mode. Instead, we'll just be using the AIM-7Fs and the AIM-9Ps because that's a little more balanced and those are missiles in game, so we'll just use those. Now, ACM fight will consist of R-60Ms on the MiG-29 and on the F-15C we'll have AIM-7Fs and AIM-9Ps, not the P-5s because those are all aspect and not in the game. Now, the BVR fight will be taking fuel tanks on the F-15C, that's literally the only change, and in the BVR fight for the MiG-29, we'll be taking the R-27R and the R-73s, which are very, very good missiles at close range. So, let's see how this goes. Now, if you're not aware what ACM is yet, ACM is basically air combat maneuvering, also known as dogfighting. So, right now, we'll be going for the dogfight. This guy launches an R-60M, and I roll and flare and it just misses me but I try to get guns on at the last second and he just slips right out of view. MiG-29 that thing is extremely slippery especially in its roll rate. Now I launch an AIM-9P and it dodges because they're not all aspect and he is flaring and he's sort of facing towards me so it misses naturally. So I'm like oh crap. I try to do it again, I lock him with the ACM, I'm like yeah I'm not gonna hit him with missiles and switch to guns and just paint over him and they land shots on him and he ends up dying which is actually pretty neat because uh it looked like there was no major air damage to his aircraft but uh he ended up ejecting so again with round two we're also doing another acm and i try launching aim sevens at him to see what he will do and the aim sevens are pretty good at tracking uh but they just don't turn as well as the aim seven m's or the mh so you can see here the first one misses, I pull the nose back on, I launch again, and then I start cranking to the left just in case he launches the missile and it ended up impacting his aircraft and destroying him completely. So now we're going to be doing the BVR. Now this is the F-15C's playground. This thing loves BVR and you can slew the radar right to the target. It locks and he's about 30 to 40 miles at this point. Right now it says 38.1 so he's relatively far from the m 7 f now, cool about this jet is it has a tone on these little yellow things to tell you when to launch the missile. And I ended up launching this missile within 10 miles, I believe, but uh, yeah, it didn't track too well. I mean, it tracked him, but then it just veered off as soon as he went below the horizon, 
And I also lost track of him as soon as he went below the horizon. And I start looking around and I see a missile. I'm like, oh, that's, that's a problem. Let me lock him up and uh, launch another AIM-7. I didn't expect this one to actually hit because uh, it was very close and you can see it maneuvered really. So I guess the lesson from that match is to never underestimate an AIM-7F. I really did not expect that thing to pull that hard and kill him. But uh, here we go in the second round and I'm also going to just launch the AIM-7s around 10 miles or within 10 miles and it starts to track and then I launch another one and they lose track so I switch to vertical scan and I go upside down because I saw him go low and I lose him again so I start looking around I'm dumping flares I finally spot him and I see a missile trail I'm like oh crap I need to dump as many flares as possible and it narrowly misses me it almost looks like it went straight into the intake but apparently it was far enough to not explode and kill me. I try and launch an AIM-9P and I forget that, oh, these are not L's, they're not going to pull that hard, so uh, it ends up missing. Then I get him in the head-on because the Vulcan had a higher fire rate than the GSH-30, and then he's still limping, so I just launch an AIM-9P to just finish him off, and he is dead. So overall, this jet is pretty, pretty good. I mean, this is some footage of me shooting down a flanker who was trying to outmaneuver an AIM-120, and it didn't end too well. So, I mean, I don't think this will be a balanced jet, even with the AIM-7Fs and the AIM-9Ps. We're going to have to wait until the MiG-29 is added to the game for it to be a little more balanced, because uh, currently its performance alone will kill anything. I mean, hell, this thing has the F5 damage model in real life. It's got shot by an AIM-9 and landed, so it's a pretty good aircraft. But my predictions are we'll probably see it in maybe one to two years. I don't think we'll see it this year. Maybe the F-14's probably going to be this year. But uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty insane damage model. I mean, I recreated the Israeli F-15 that uh, rammed another F-15, I believe, or another aircraft. But yeah, comment down below what you guys think, because I'm really interested to know what you guys think about this. But uh, other than that, subscribe, like, share, and uh, take care, guys. Also, that repair cost is going to be a pain.